Hello. In this video, indeed, in this series, I'm going to, I wanted to show you my math collection indeed. So there's plenty of math books down here. Okay, there's plenty of books. Most of them are math, are books on mathematics. Um, there's, for example, the Springer Verlag collection here. Excellent. Excellent editions, beautiful. Uh, you have Conway, for example, a course in functional functional analysis. Valo, uh, Hulin, La Fontaine, with Riemannian geometry, ordinary differential equations by Arnold. This is a classic in mathematics. Okay, it's um, is it like it's a theory. Part of the theory of differential equations, but from a geometric point of view, geometrical point of view, indeed he developed the uh, the geometrical theory of ordinary differential equations. It's a very, very nice book. I have another edition of the same book down there. I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Uh, here's a book as well, Topological Methods in the Algebraic Geometry. Very nice book. Um, algebra. An approach via module theory. That's a little abstract there. An introduction to complex function theory by Palka. Uh, Kuznetsov as well. Elements of applied bifurcation theory, etc. So there are plenty, plenty of uh, material down here. Um, there's the typical, you know, Allen collections, McGraw-Hill, stuff like that, calculus. And there's a little algebra over there as well, down there. Uh, well, there are some, yeah, this book is on tables of integral transforms, higher transcendental functions, etc., etc., etc. Okay, and there's the principle, principles of algebraic geometry down here. And Catalog, this is an introduction to modern theory of dynamical systems. This book is excellent. This one is an amazing textbook. Uh, it's not for, you know, beginners, if you will. You have to have certain notions on, <coughs> on algebraic geometry. So, for example, here's a textbook. This is by Maunder. So it's like a little more suitable, uh, if you will, for undergraduate students. There's plenty of abstract algebra here by Hungerford, excellent book. Um, a partial differential equations, boundary problems, etc. Uh, there's calculus as well here by Courant, um, geometry. And then there's this blue collection of textbooks. Um, this is by, by McGraw-Hill as well. For example, you have your theory of ordinary differential equations by Coddington. Uh, and I was... I was checking this one as well, Principles of Mathematical Analysis. That's, you know, classical um, on analysis by Rudin. I think I have two copies of this book. Yeah. Yeah, that's the second copy down there. Panisi, down here, Elements of Complex Variables, which is repeated. Dugunji, excellent textbook uh, about like on topology, but this is general topology. This is not algebraic topology, okay? General topology as well by Kelly. Excellent textbook. Lectures in abstract algebra by Jacobson down there. Advanced calculus, etc. cetera. Uh, there's the Dover collection up there. Dover textbooks are excellent. And they reprinted some of the classic, you know, classical... Material, for example, this is the theory of theory of functions by Knopp, second part, and I'm reading this text myself, this book myself. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm professor in, I'm a mathematician, and I'm working currently in China. Uh, I'm home, by the way, right now because of the COVID restrictions, but I'm expected expected to be down there fairly soon. Um, Anyway, I'm teaching 
calculus one this term and the students are very good actually my students uh, this is part one of the same text of the same book down there theory of functions by conrad knopp um, so if you grab any of these textbooks you're gonna find most probably a bunch of exercises so my what I want to do in on, on the channel here is to discuss the solution to some of the more complicated ones, okay? So, for example, I'm reading about Weierstrass Factor Theorem. It's a beautiful... There you go. Weierstrass Factor Theorem. And there's a bunch of exercises at the end that I would like to discuss on the channel down there. So... See? They're very interesting, but um, they are non-elementary. So if you have no notion about complex analysis, well, most probably you're not going to understand this book. You got to go through uh, part one or through a different textbook on complex analysis. Um, and there's plenty of textbooks as well. So there's, there are more books down here as well. Down there, I have my my math collection as well. This is, you know, the an additional collection on math books. This is a Russian edition. I think we have Arnold somewhere around here. Uh, the same book I was talking about up there. Oh yeah, I think it's down here. Oops. Arnold. There. So it's the same textbook, same book, but in French, okay? So this is an old edition uh, by the Russian, the Russian school. Beautiful edition. You have some of the Wiley Inner Science collections here, some of the volumes. For example, Applied Functional Analysis by Aubin, Stack Goal, Green's Functions and Boundary Value Problems, etc., etc. Uh, more stuff down there. Uh, generalized functions by Gelfand. This guy was one of the um, with Schwartz. He was one of the, you know, many uh, mathematicians who developed the theory of generalized functions. Okay, beautiful theory as well. Anyway, I'll be, you know, checking out some of these books here in my collection and I'll be like um, solving one or two problems from from those books. Ah, that's Enrique up there. Hey Enrique, how are you? Tick, tick, tick. Good, so check it out. That's my collection uh, stuck up in the wall down there. And this is my collection against my my wall here, okay? My room. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.